Hey there, guys. I made a pretty fun um, Arduino project, and I figured I'd share it with you guys. So I have a room in my back of the house that doesn't get regular air circulation. I needed a dehumidifier for the winter time in the Pacific Northwest where it can get pretty mildewy, let's say, in some of your rooms if you don't have regular air circulation. So what I did was I bought a dehumidifier off Craigslist and I ran it. Um, seemed to work really good, gets the humidity down, but it would go way past what I needed it to for um, just regulating not getting mildew in the house and on my camping gear and outdoor gear. Well, I was having an issue with the settings on this Kenmore machine I bought. It didn't seem to want to turn off at the set point that I put on there, like I think it was 34 or something. It would go all the way down to somewhere in the 20s and um, just wasting power, you know, just taking money out of my wallet and I wanted to stop that so I looked into just replacing the sensor or something on the board and it turns out this particular machine tends to have a lot of issues. So people change out sensors and then it just stops working again. So I figured I'd make something robust myself because I can. And I used the Arduino platform basically. I bought an Arduino um, pre-bootloaded with the Arduino bootloader from SparkFun. I also got from SparkFun an AM232 dehumidifier sensor. They have a green one and a white one. The white one has a wider range of temperatures and humidity that can sense. So it was only a couple of dollars I figured I'd buy it. Um, I have a servo motor here and you can see on the armature here, kind of, it's a little blurry, sorry. I have a skateboard bearing mounted on the end of one of the armatures. Uh, with a screw and it can spin as it moves around as the servo moves around the power buttons right there where that line is the bearing rolls across the uh, power button turns the machine on that's how I actuate it on and off pretty cool um, you know pretty rigged up too but whatever it works I bought this enclosure box from Rio Shack a um, couple momentary push buttons. I have a reset button on this side. A humidity set pot right here. I spin this to set the humidity I want to regulate down to. I have a backlight display for the LCD. And this push button is used in sequence with this potentiometer to set the humidity. Uh, in order to make the board, I made my first circuit board. I used um, Eagle. They let you use a smaller footprint and but use the entire software for an unlimited amount of time with all the features uh, to design boards and it's pretty awesome. It's drag and drop and you can do board layouts where the Arduino 328P or the Arduino Uno uses an Atmel 328P 28 pin dip chip and there's 28 pins if you count around little pads going around here in the middle. That's the you know heart of what I made here. And um, basically what I did is I designed it on Eagle. You print it out and you can test fit all your components by taking a chip and just setting it there and seeing if it fits appropriately over the pads. And once you know that everything fits and it's the right size, you can... Um, you can print it out. So in order to get this on to to make a real circuit out of it, what I did was I printed it out on glossy paper with a uh, laser printer and then you clean off a copper clad board with rubbing alcohol or Brillo pad and then you iron it on and once it's ironed on um, then you use ferrochloric acid etchant to eat away the copper, but it doesn't eat away where the ink was, so you, that's your remaining traces. You clean that off with like quad zero stainless steel wool, and there's your circuit. So all the holes for your through, um, through hole components, you have to drill like a little drill press, and you can set them in and solder them down. So I'm not really gonna go into the whole board that I set up here. Um, it gets pretty complicated with all the uh, 
you know where all the traces are going, what all the components are for. But this is a um, one of the two printouts I made before I um, before I made my copper cloud board. You can see that I kind of taped a piece of glossy paper to a piece of plain paper. Uh, the brother printer that I bought, um, it doesn't it doesn't accept glossy paper very well. It kind of binds up in there. So I taped glossy paper just the size that I needed for my um, for the schematic or for the um, for the circuit to a piece of regular paper and I kind of bypassed all that. So it seemed to work and I transferred it over the first time and it worked just perfect. So I made my board, soldered everything up and then I designed and made this enclosure box. So I'll power it up here. You can see the prompt. Just have a little prompt screen that says who made it and what it is. And then right away it gives a temperature reading here of 78.48 degrees Fahrenheit. The humidity in the room is 61.4%. It's telling me the dehumidifier is off. So I have a photo eye on the bottom of this that's looking for light from the um, dehumidifier. It has a display that says auto kind of underneath this corner. So I have a photo eye looking right at that. And if it doesn't pick up any light, it knows the machine's off. So I have some feedback there. So it's telling me it's off. And I have the set humidity at 95%. This is where I can adjust the, um, the setting to regulate the humidity. And obviously I can only go down. But since I'm, you know, I input it into the machine or it, actually just turns out at 95 so it doesn't actually move in case you need to adjust things or whatever. Um, it doesn't need to regulate the humidity down and turn it on. So I will move it down somewhere below 59 for you. So by pressing this button in, it goes to another screen that tells you to set the humidity. It also lets you know what the last humidity reading was, 59. It's really hard to do with one hand. Wouldn't recommend it for people with one arm. Okay, so I moved it down to 32, and it won't do anything until I let go because that's how I programmed it. Um, I also have a push button here for a backlight. I should turn that on, it's easier to read. So we'll look at this um, servo here, see it spin and turn it on. And as soon as the light is seen um, underneath in that photo eye, this dehumidifier on is now displayed instead of off. The machine knows it's on, so it quits using the servo to attempt to turn it on. And that's basically it. So let's say the humidity is 59 in the room. We'll simulate it going down below 32. And actually, it goes a couple degrees below, or percentages below, before it actually turns off. And then it goes a little bit above before it turns back on, just so it doesn't um, keep toggling on and off at a threshold value. So I'm simulating it going down by just moving the set point up, but we'll see it turn off again here. Bam, turns off. So the system seems to work really well. Um, I'll test it for a bit and see how I like it. I mounted the humidity sensor kind of where the other one is for the, um, for the machine, for the whole circuit that doesn't work. It's kind of behind the shroud. This will just um, get zip tied to the front of here. And um, it sucks air through here from the room and blows it out the back. So. I figured this is the best place is where they put theirs before. But that is the system and pretty fun Arduino project. So that's it.